so you know, there's the camera. I know. I think. <laughs> this is Nino, who is eight. And this is his sister, Michael. Me. Is 11. Me. And my name is Nino. And all of a sudden, Nino was sick. I asked for a CAT scan when we went and sent him And they're like, no, you really don't want to have a CAT scan. It's so much radiation for such a small boy. <laughs> That's ironic. You know, it's like, oh, of course he doesn't have a tumor. Who would ever think your perfect child had a tumor? Had a, a super aggressive, terrifying rhabdomyosarcoma Me. in his uh, sinus cavity. And rhabdomyosarcoma is like this creepy, spidery, spindly, horrible tumor. I said, well, you know, honey, I'll probably be home in a, in a day or two because I still didn't, never thought, we never thought he had cancer. I didn't come home for three weeks. I, I just, I didn't come home, you know. I drove away one day with her brother who had been, you know, inexplicably stricken. You know, was really sick and it was really scary. Hey, when I walked into the family house the first time, um, I, I wanted to cry. I felt so sad and lost. I laugh so hard when I think about that now because uh, I mean, the family house became home so fast. It, it made, a hard, hard situation. <laughs> More than tolerable. You know, he gave us a whole year. It's an imperfect world when one of your kids gets cancer. I call every time and I ask if we can stay here because it makes all the difference. And here we are. It's a year and a half later. Um, almost two years. When I was packing up the room, I'm sad. Why are you sad? I don't want to leave. I'm Don't you dare!